Good afternoon, AWM fam. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today is going to be another cook with me dinner video. So I'm going to be doing another recipe. I just want to let you guys know, you guys ask for recipes, but then it seems like I get a lot of dislikes. So I hope you guys are asking me for recipes and you guys actually do like them and the people are disliking are just haters that need to be blocked away. So, but um, anyways, I'm gonna make tapenyaki today. Tapenyaki, 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 however you wanna say it. Um, basically, what tapenyaki is over here, I don't know where everywhere else is, they're like Japanese style food, um, traditional food, and they cook in front of you. So it's basically like fried rice and either steak, chicken, shrimp, then there's zucchini, onions, just stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make mine. So the trick for the rice, do not cook it hot. I cook my rice in a rice steamer and you don't wanna fry the rice hot so I would just leave it in the refrigerator. The best tasting one is if you leave it in overnight. So mine was left in overnight. Um, I'm just gonna put it back in the refrigerator until I need it so when I cook. Or you could take it out and leave it uh, for room temperature. And then I'm also on the sides, I'm cooking some Japanese spaghetti, um, mung bean sprouts. So they're basically bean sprouts. And I'm going to cook these. I'll show you guys how I season them. You're going to need a onion. Also, another side veggie is a zucchini. And for the rice, I'm not going to cook regular bacon. I normally would, but today I'm going to cook turkey bacon, so I'm going to put turkey bacon in that and I'll show you guys what I do for that so the taste can kind of be similar to regular bacon. Also some frozen mixed veggies for the rice, so I got this big huge bag at Walmart. I like to buy these big bags because I do cook with these veggies a lot. I love to make my rices with it, even if I'm not cooking fried rice. And then two eggs, so inside the rice is going to be onion, two eggs, turkey bacon, and um, this uh, veggies. I could have sworn I got green onion. One second. And then you're also gonna need some green onion. So for the rice, if you guys want the exact measurements, I did two cups of white rice. I left it in the refrigerator overnight. So two cups of cold cooked white rice. And then I'm going to do one cup of mixed veggies. So I have it in this like little bowl. So it's one cup of mixed veggies. I'm doing two slabs of green onion. And then I'm doing just maybe like, let me see, I'll do the cup. Like one fourth of onion sliced in big slices. And then two eggs. And of course, turkey bacon. And for flavor, do not cook with oil. I would cook with butter, because that's what I'm gonna cook with. And then I'm gonna be using my wok, but you could use a big pot or whatever, something that looks similar, but I have a wok, so I'm gonna be using my wok. And then to start off, I would preheat it to like medium high and then melt butter on it, like maybe melt a half a cup of butter. So what I like to do is I like to lay out three bacon slabs and then I like to layer them on top of each other. And then I like to get my cooking scissors, slice it down the middle, and then slice them. And this is how it looks after it's done being sliced. And this is just three bacon pieces. So um, that's what I'm going to be using for this recipe. And then I like to use my cooking cutting scissors um, and just slice up the green onion. And I just use two um, green onion stems and I just cut them all up and that's what I got. So I just like to chop and prepare everything before I even cook the rice so I'm not having to be going back and forth chopping things. So I have everything out. So for the zucchini and onion, it tastes so bomb. If you guys do it this way, I've noticed that this is probably the way they do it in the teppanyaki restaurants. So you're gonna need one zucchini, one onion, well you're gonna half it, you're gonna half the onion. And then you're gonna need 
two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. And for the zucchini, I like to chop up the onions like this. So I wouldn't know how to explain that. I would have to show you, but I already chopped them. So I mean, I just like to have them big squares. And then I chop the zucchini like this. Um, basically, I just slice the zucchini in half. And then I slice, there's two of the zucchinis because they're sliced in half. And I slice that one and then I just, no, I don't slice it. I just chop it in like, I don't do it small pieces, just do big pieces. So the bacon, you don't really need to oil it or put butter. But I like to only because all of this is going to be worth it in the end. It's going to give you all of that good flavor. And I don't know if you guys ever pay attention to the cook when he's cooking. He cooks with nothing but butter. So, I mean, that's why it cooks. That's why it's so bomb. But, yeah, I'm just going to let this all um, melt. For the meats, I'm going to be cooking steak. So this is a sirloin Or a sirloin. This is a sirloin steak. Um, see how it's real thick and juicy? So um, I just chopped it all up. And I chopped them in little pieces like this. I like to do it before I actually cook the entire thing. Um, <clears throat> I like to take out as much fat as I can. Normally, like if you guys are watching them cook, they cook the entire steak and then chop it all up. I like to um, have it already chopped up for me. And then the chicken, I'm going to chop it up as well. But I'm, I'm cooking two chicken breasts and then I'm just going to chop, um, chop it all up. So getting the meat out already. I always like to um, fry the bacon first regardless if I'm cooking pork bacon, turkey bacon, or if I'm actually doing like chicken. I always like to do like the meat first. If I'm just doing vegetable fried rice then that's a different story but um, today is just doing turkey bacon so I'm gonna be frying this first and cook it till it is um, halfway done. Or, no, I'm sorry, not halfway done. Cook it till it's all the way done, or how you like it. I like to cook it when it's crunchy. Once it's all cooked, go ahead and move it to the side so you can have room right here to make your eggs. And now go ahead and start scrambling, cooking your eggs. So then I went ahead and put it aside and I'm just putting three tablespoons of butter, I mean two and a half tablespoons of butter, sorry guys, I'm like all over the place and I'm getting it ready to put the rice in. So uh, once it's like melted a little bit, go ahead and put your rice in. So I'm going to season the chicken before I even put it on the pan. I'm going to season it with garlic, salt, and then this um, chicken seasoning sauce or seasoning powder. I don't know why I keep saying sauce, but it's a chicken seasoning sauce or seasoning powder. Ah, so I'm going to season it with those three and then just let it sit until I cook it. Same with the steak. I'm going to season it as well. I'm going to be using this steak in meat carne asada, basically um, seasoning powder. And then I'm going to be using garlic powder and salt. So I'm just going to season it and let it sit until I cook it. So while the chicken's cooking, I would start I'm um, cooking the veggies so go ahead and put two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil on a pan and heat it up and then saute your onions first and then throw on your um, zucchini I forgot to mention I put this aside once it's all like that and <laughs> I put it aside and then I'll put it back on there so the butter can remelt and stuff while I'm cooking like the chicken at least once the chickens done that's for sure when I start cooking the rice because after I after the once I start putting the rice in it's gonna cook real fast and then that's how the veggies look and then I'll show you guys how I put the seasoning and stuff and then when I do the bean sprouts so if you cook the rice in a rice cooker and it's like this I would get a fork and start like spreading it apart um, taking it like you know not so like stick together before you put it in the um, pan but if it's in a pan you could just put it in 
So now that your rice is all in here, go ahead and start mixing it all together. Ooh, sorry it's all steamy. Now go ahead for the veggies, once it starts getting like crispy or brown, go ahead and add in two tablespoons of teriyaki and one tablespoon of soy sauce. That's how you cook the veggies and make them taste super good. Um, I would let it like soak in, let it so cook with the sauce and then put it on low until everything's done. Add in the veggies and the green onions, mix it all together and just keep mixing and then you can go ahead and add some soy sauce and I like to add garlic powder and um, some seasoning that I have. It's called Pappy seasoning. So this is just hibachi chicken so it's pretty much done. Um, you can go ahead and take it out and then clean the pan or leave the pan, however, whatever you like. I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to start doing my steak. And then the rice, I'm just letting it heat up some more. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of soy sauce. And then I added the soy sauce. I just added as much as I think I was going to want. And I'm going to just turn this off now. And then put the lid over it. The veggies are done. I put the lid over it. And now I'm going to focus on making the bean sprouts and the steak. <laughs> Every time I cook, this kid always whines like when it's almost done. So pretty much the steak's gonna be done. And then I, after it's done like cooking, I like to cover it with teriyaki sauce. That's all cooked. All I did was put oil and soy sauce and then just let it cook. So pretty much your tapenyaki dinner.